This demo covers some of the work completed by the Spotlight Exhibits team during our final two weekly sprints of a month-long work cycle in summer of 2016. As with our previous demos, this demo doesn't include all of the fixes and improvements we made during the sprints, but focuses just on the ones that lend themselves to a short demo. For those interested in all the details, uh, please visit the Spotlight and Exhibits GitHub repositories where you can see all of the activity that's taken place during this work cycle. I'll start with a very simple feature we've added, but one that will be uh, useful for our exhibit service team. Uh, it probably won't come up too often, but when a member of our service team needs to communicate with our exhibit curators about, say, uh, significant product updates or planned service outages, they can now go to this uh, Manage uh, Administrators page. And we've added a new section down here where they can see a list of all the email addresses um, of current exhibit curators and administrators. And so they can easily copy this list of email addresses, uh, paste it into an email, and send it out to the curators and administrators. Next, we've made a couple of improvements to give uh, the, curate, the exhibit curator a better sense of the indexing status of uh, items in the Stanford Digital Repository that they've added to an exhibit. So we've made the um, we've made the the the, re, the item indexing uh, status uh, more clear by um, a me, more quickly displaying the re-indexing status uh, progress bar here. Uh, so that displays immediately when they start to re-index items, so they get a sense that um, activity has taken place. Even better, we've added a new section to the uh, items page that displays the indexing status of all the SDR items that a curator has added to an exhibit. So as soon as items are indexed, they're added to this new item status section um, where we show both uh, the collection druids that are, have been added to uh, the, the exhibit, where we show the number of individual items associated with that collection druid, and then in the object druid section, we show the full list of individual object druids and whether or not they have been uh, published. So this will help both curators and the exhibit service team understand what's going on if the curator adds items, for example, that are uh, haven't been published to Perl. The status will be displayed as missing here, and we'll know that uh, all the items, in fact, um, are not uh, have not been published um, as required for display in an exhibit. Uh, the last couple of items uh, we'll talk about are fairly big updates. Uh, first, we've decided to uh, use a new gem for displaying search results on a map uh, called Blacklight Heat Maps. Uh, a big chunk of work uh, to make this happen is at the indexing level, where we've had to understand the different ways uh, in the Stanford items in the Stanford Digital Repository store uh, geo metadata, and to figure out how to index that uh, metadata into the exhibit uh, Solar Index. So the other part of the work um, has involved hooking up uh, the user interface that you see here uh, to the um, uh, solar index. So we're not entirely done with this work, um, but uh, as you can see, we do have uh, the basic um, integration of Blacklight Heat Maps working, and uh, the user can uh, explore uh, items uh, that are displayed on the map and uh, can select an area of the map and see the uh, items that are relevant to that area, and then uh, click on an item to go to uh, the item uh, show page uh, for, that, for that item. The other big uh, item we've worked on in the sprint is related to image cropping in Spotlight. One of the ways an exhibit curator can customize their exhibit is by selecting and customizing images for uh, use in the exhibit masthead uh, and the thumbnail image that presents the exhibit and the photos uh, of contacts for the exhibit. So we're in the process of replacing the mechanism for cropping images uh, used for these purposes uh, to use a triple F based approach. Uh, we expect that this will significantly improve the user experience around cropping images and make the, um, the process quicker and it will eliminate some system performance issues that were caused by the previous approach. 
And now I'm going to turn it over to Justin to show some uh, detail on the image crop cropping issue. gone ahead and created a test exhibit in Spotlight. And one of the tasks I want to do is set a masthead image to replace this gray bar right behind where it says text ex test exhibit. What I can do is go down into the configuration menu and click on the appearance link. And I can set the site masthead and I'll choose to upload an image and it'll allow me to browse and as soon as I click open, this is uploaded into uh, Spotlight and it's available as a triple IF image um, uh, over an application, uh, triple IF image server. Um, so, one of the things we're going to do is take the crop bar now and move it. This is locked to a specific aspect ratio that's going to work, whoops, that's going to work very well for our, our, our banner. And just gonna have some trouble with it. <laughs> Let's try a different image. Um, there's a few bugs we have to work out. We spent significant time on this and unfortunately we were not unable to completely get it um, as well, working as well as we wanted to. So we're not going to put it in our first release here. But here's a different image. As you can see, I can move the crop area around and adjust it preserving the aspect ratio by touching the different drag handles. So I'm going to grab a picture of the rhinoceros' eyes and horn. And when I save the changes, it should appear as soon as it's ready. And okay, I guess one thing I one thing I neglected to do, the reason it's not working is because I forgot to check this box that says display that image in the masthead. So let's try that again. Display the masthead, and there there we have a background image that shows the rhinoceros' horns and eyes. Um, we've done a, done similar work for this upload with the crop for five different areas, um, including the contact avatars, the masthead the exhibit thumbnails and the feature page thumbnails, as well as uploaded items, which are a feature of Spotlight, but not a feature that we turn on in the Stanford exhibit site. Um, so that's the that's the triple IF stuff. It's uh, unfortunately not quite done yet, but it's very close and we hope that in a future sprint, we'll have the time to finish it off.